Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. When you uh, are reading news, uh, art news articles, or you watching uh, news outlets, they uh, try to portray a certain kind of um, a picture of um, of what's going on in Ukraine, and uh, they try to uh, portray it as a monolithic uh, alliance you know, of friends, uh, all speaking in one voice about uh, Russia and uh, Ukraine war. The problem is you can uh, also read their articles and from their reporting, you can figure out that it's not so. But uh, you have to have at least an IQ of 86 and we have it, so we get it. So uh, you get some information provided by the guys who want to hide that information but you can find it out through their own words. What am I talking about? It's an article from Ukrainska Pravda, uh, actually from New, New Voice of Ukraine. So here is the article from the New, uh, the New Voice of Ukraine. German far right politicians, that's how they, because you can't be, you can't have a different opinion unless you're crazy or you're an extremist. Uh, there are some movies when you see some certain movies when there are some actors, actors, the person, the characters in the movies, they say things that, oh, what the hell was that? You know, I can't believe he said it. That person is, is, is either a criminal or the negative character in the movie or is crazy. Why? Because you can't say it, uh, you know, that's the, you can't say it if it, you're just a beautiful human being like the ones who follow the script. If you have a different opinion on certain certain topics, then you must be either an extremist or a criminal. In this case, these guys are far right. That is Nazi, right? That's that's where they want to go with that. So you can't be an, a regular normal person and have this guy go and do this. All right. So German far right politicians plan trip to Russian occupied parts of Ukraine. German far right politicians plan to trip plan trip to Russian occupied parts of Ukraine. So only the extremists would go over there and see what's going on over there. A group, a group German Bundestag MPs from the far right alternative for Germany or AFD party plan parts of Eastern Ukraine currently occupied by Russia invasion forces. The statement on the official site of the party said on September 19th. So let's see what's going on over here. According to the Bundestag MPs, who are supporters of the Kremlin's regime, the purpose of the trip is supposedly to check the objectivity of the information provided by German media in regard to the Russian war against Ukraine. I think that is, you don't have to be a supporter of Putin or Russia or invasion to say, let me see if these guys from the mass media have questions uh, regarding their objective reporting of what actually is happening over there. I'm going to go myself. Oh my God, no, you're a supporter. Stay here. Ah, this is what these guys are doing. So you can't even try to... You're supposed to get all your information from the mass media. And who is in the mass media? Are those special people? What are they? Are like you, humans like you, with an agenda. Some of them, most of them. Now, I'm not talking about the writer, the, the, one, the, the, the one who's the author of an article. He knows exactly what he's supposed to write for that newspaper or outlet because otherwise he would not be allowed to write that. Do you think he's just impartial and he's going to say, oh, okay, let's see what I found objectively. And then he writes the article, sends it to his editor and the editor is going to be oh, damn fired. What do you think is going to let them do that? Because the editor is going to be asked by his superior, how did you let that article go over there? Don't you understand? And I'm going to drink with these guys uh, tonight and they're going to ask me how in the hell you put that uh, in the news feed? Are you crazy? That's the way it goes. How do you think it goes? I know here in the little, little local situations in the uh, United States of America, how uh, that work and how politicians go drinking with these guys. Not the, necessarily the authors, but they're invited as well. But the editors, the owners, the directors, the whatever you want to call them, in charge of news outlets in the United States. And you never hear about their perversities that occur at certain parties, and not only certain parties. Direct experience.
All right, so let's move in on. So according to the Bundestag, who are supporters of the blah, 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 the purpose of the trip is supposedly, supposedly, it is to check the objectivity of the information provided by German media. Great, excellent, verify, right? Believe, but ver verify first. In the regards to Russia and war in Ukraine. So these guys are just skeptical, skeptics, you know? Skepticism is good for brain. That's how you get the truth. You have to be skeptical. If you just are like a fish, hungry fish, and it's a little lure coming through the water, oh, oh, you not know, think, oh, wait a second, is that real? Is, why is it moving so fast? Is that over there? I don't think I passed this one. No, you have to be skeptical. The MPs said they planned to enter Ukraine via Russia, which is illegal. <laughs> so don't go, stay here. <laughs> Reacting to the AFD's announcement, Ukrainian ambassador to Berlin, what do you think he said? Andriy Melnik warned the German MPs that any illegal visits by them to the occupied territories would be seen as support for Russian war of annihilation. So you see, don't go because we're gonna call you like that and you are a bad dude. Don't verify. Believe us. Trust us. No, I don't. At all. Zero. Zero. So this is a criminal offense. Incitement to criminal aggression, Melnik wrote on Twitter. What? What are you talking about? So this, the ambassador, Ukrainian ambassador, he's just a widow, says this is a criminal offense. Incitement to criminal aggression. To go over there and verify it for yourself? Yes. <laughs> you don't have, that's why it's unprovoked, because they say it's unprovoked. You're not supposed to talk to the Russians and say, come on, tell me what are your reasons. Maybe we can find something in there. No, you're not even... No, if you go away, deviate one degree away from the dogma, unprovoked, unjustified, illegal, pop, 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 annihilation, tra -la -la, then you must be, you know, necessarily like them and you should not have any credibility. There you have it. And this is the world we fucking live in, right? The so-called civilized West. This, this, this. Remember, this is Germany over there. It's not, uh, I don't know, Romania or I don't know, I don't want to insult anybody, but I can insult Romania because I have a little relationship with Romania, not the one it might look like. But anyway, it's just, you know, not a banana republic and th you get like this. And these are MPs elected by their uh, constituency. So what are you talking, Melnik, you worm? Anyway, sorry. And we have here that uh, the list includes Natalie Veit, Svetlana Risto, Dr. Christine Blacks, Daniel Wald, Dr. Hans Thomas Till Schneider. It would be the first time it would be the first time AFD members have visited occupied parts of Ukraine. In 2018, several AFD members traveled to Crimea, which Russian invaded and st started to occupy in 2014 and they had a referendum and the people democratically said we don't want to be with those guys because they are bad we want to be with the good guys which are good <laughs> right democracy kosovo remember self-determination yeah yeah no no what what mm, jesus christ according to german news magazine der spiegel an f and afd member of parliament ulrich ome has admitted to having received monetary benefits from the Russian parliament to the illegal trip. Okay, so what's wrong with that? He got money to go over there and verify what's going on? Okay, corrupt, out. But I can think about other people that are very corrupt and they're not out. <laughs> Meanwhile, I, mean, I, want, I want consistency. I mean, if you are the pinnacle of justice and objectivity and love and happiness and democracy and all that bullshit, then I want that to apply to you too. Okay, don't go over there and verify, trust us. That's the first sign. And you're a far right and you're a bad dude because if you, you go over there and you support them for the annihilation of us because we say so, and it's illegal. What? Meanwhile, following a successful counteroffensive, okay, this is propaganda, we don't go into that anymore. We have enough when we read, I have to just jump from one thing to another so I don't have to, to BS here with whatever they uh, they vomit over there so yeah i just read how this uh visits how this visit is interpreted why not why not because they don't want to find the other side or have a different you know uh, i don't say alternative but 
that maybe they find something that these guys don't have as an information and that would enhance and you know uh, uh, complete the whole view on the whole situation don't you want to find the truth or you want to find your truth or you want your truth to be the truth i think the last option is the one they want their truth to be the truth well the truth is not complete only from your side it's completed by many many angles that is seen from this telephone i explained this analogy if you see the telephone like this and I see it like this and someone else sees it like this, then we have three different opinions what a phone is. You're gonna say it's like a little like that. I would say, no, it's like that. The other one's gonna say like that. And we say, no, man, that's not true. I would say, the phone is like this. And the other guy's are no, 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 the phone is like this. We're gonna use words to explain. I don't have time to go with that. And the third one's like, no, it's like this. So we're gonna say it's different. But if this guy has the power to shut the other two up, his version will be the only, the phone is something that looks like this. Like this okay and this is what these guys are trying to do since the long time ago not six months ago tens of years impose their view and ignore everything else and everybody else will be called something if they try to come with their interpretation with other facet of the truth and then you can have it and all the facets you oh the phone is like this and you can do it like this but how do you do that by accepting information that's verified as true Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.